Hey, this is Rush. In this video, we are going to be talking about the Sell the Trend store intelligence. I believe this tool is going to change the way you approach your e-commerce game. Now, if you ever wish you could take a sneak peek into your competitor store, see what's working, what products they're adding, how much money they're making, and pretty much discover their secret sauce, well, that's exactly what the store intelligence tool is going to let us do. Now, in this video, we are gonna walk through all the incredible benefits of this tool, from uncovering winning products to gaining all that important competitive edge. So, let's jump right in. Now, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to enter the URL of the store that you want to inspect, or, you know, get a store intelligence report about. Now, if you don't have a store, you're not really sure what store to enter here, you can always find a lot of top dropshipping stores in our Ecom Store Explorer. And you can always put a category in here. So let's say if you want to use jewelry, for example, this will pull up an entire list of jewelry stores that you can then click the store intelligence button right here and inspect. So let's go back to our store intelligence page and let's actually put a URL that I actually found in the jewelry niche a bit earlier. And it's this store right here. And let's take a look at the report that we can generate for this jewelry store. So this is going to pull up an entire store report for the store. It's gonna really break down pretty much how the store is making its money and why it's so successful. From the top here, you can see we're going to be able to see the monthly traffic for the store, as well as some other details like average product price, which is super important because you're gonna quickly see that this store is generating its $187,000 a month in revenue from very low price products, right? So right off the bat, you can tell that they're going to actually be selling a lot of volume to generate that kind of revenue. And we're going to see a little bit later exactly how they're doing this, which I believe you're going to find super interesting. You'll also be able to see their technology spend, which is basically how much money they're spending on apps per month. Now, this does not include any kind of spend on you know, ads, but it will include apps and you know, other fixed costs. As well, we're going to be able to see the tracking that they're installed on their website. And you can see here that they're using the Facebook pixel as well as the Google tracking tag. And we're going to actually be able to look at the ads that they are running. Now, not every single store is going to be running ads. So sometimes you might click on this button here and not find any ads because not every single store, you know, runs Facebook ads. But let's check out the store here and see what they're doing on Facebook. And right here, you're going to be able to see that this store is running a lot of ads on Facebook, right? And they have ads running since, let's see here, let's go to the bottom. They've been running ads since February of 2023. And I mean, they could be recycling this, they could be shutting down some ads on launching brand new ads, but they are still launching ads as late as September the 12th, which is, you know, about a week ago. Now, let's go back here and check out what else we can see about this store. Right underneath the Facebook ads, we're going to be able to check out all their different social medias. And actually, let's check out TikTok and see what they're doing on that platform. And of course, they're doing some TikTok stuff, which makes a lot of sense. This kind of niche really does work for viral type of TikTok ads, especially if they have a nice angle uh, on their products and they're doing kind of interesting type of videos. And they're actually creating some some pretty nice stuff here, showcasing their products. So that you know, so they're definitely doing some TikTok stuff. At least they were doing some TikTok stuff at some point. So let's go back here now and look at their monthly revenue. So we can see that this store is generating a very healthy monthly revenue. And when we look at some of their products in a second here, you're going to see how successful they are at selling some products that are not exactly brand new. So that's going to be very very interesting. But we can see here that they are generating a lot of revenue on a monthly basis and getting a lot of orders. Now let's move on to the marketing channels. Here is a very powerful part of the store intelligence. This is going to really tell us where this store is getting its traffic, right? This is obviously very key for any business is where are the customers going to be coming from? And we can see that they're obviously running ads. We just saw that they are running Facebook ads. So 18% of their traffic is coming through paid advertising. And as we saw earlier, they're also doing some Google stuff as well. Well, at least they have the Google tag installs. I haven't really checked Google to see if they're running ads. I'm sure we can just you know put their URL in Google and see if something comes up, but they are definitely running Facebook ads, right? And we can see that they're getting 14% of traffic from organic and then 56 from direct. 
So that's really interesting because this is telling us that 56% of the people that are coming to the store are people who are actually typing the name of the store in the browser. So what that tells me is that this store is popular enough that they have repeat customers that are actually typing their domain name in their browser and then coming back to the store and purchasing again. And we're going to see this in action in just a few seconds here, how they are doing this, which like I said, you're gonna find super interesting, so stay with me. And I'm kind of shocked here seeing 2% for email. You would think that they'll be doing a lot more email marketing and bringing a lot more people through email marketing. Obviously, we recommend email marketing in all of our dropshipping courses, and we recommend you do email marketing. It is a super low-cost way to generate revenue, and you should really be utilizing it in your, in your daily e-commerce business. You should be running you know, newsletters, seasonal promotions, win-back campaigns, all very important. And we do discuss a lot of that in our dropshipping marketing course included with Sell the Trend, so you can definitely check that course out and learn how to run these email campaigns actually how to run all sorts of campaigns, how to work with all of these different marketing channels. We talk about organic, we talk about direct, we talk about email, social, referral, and all that kind of stuff. So let's continue here and look at their best selling products. So this section here shows us all of their winning products and which products are still bringing them revenue. Now, what's super interesting is a lot of these products that have been added were added a long time ago, right? Some of these products were added two years ago, one year ago, four years ago. So a lot of the products that are their top sellers are not brand new products. So this store is still making a lot of money from products that they listed two years ago. So when I saw this earlier when I was preparing this tutorial, I found it super interesting. It made me think, how can this product be selling two years later? You would think there was always going to be brand new products, and I'm sure they're going to be adding these new products. And we're going to actually see that in a second when we look at their latest products. So, you know, they must be adding new products. So why does this product here two years ago, listed two years ago, still selling two years later? And let's actually go to the product page and check it out and see why this product is still making them a lot of money year after year. Let's check it out. And when I got to this page, I was kind of amazed that they're actually running a subscription service for this product. So as you can see here, they're running a $19.99 monthly subscription to get brand new Jumpstone bracelets on a monthly basis. So this kind of is this store's secret sauce, right? As I mentioned earlier in the intro, this is this store's secret sauce on how they are generating that kind of revenue on a recurring basis. And if you check out this product as well, you're gonna see that for $15.99, they can send you this product on a monthly basis as well. So think of it this way. You can make one customer purchase and now you have them buying from you month after month on autopilot without having to go back and get them again or even send them an email or try to get them through ads or any of that kind of stuff. You have them buying from you on a recurring basis. So this is another super powerful way to retain customers and to keep customers coming back to you by doing these kind of subscription services. Now, not every store can really use this kind of method, but it's definitely a winner for certain type of stores. So this is a super powerful way to generate revenue. And the way that we discovered this is through our store intelligence. That's why we're so excited about this tool and all the recent changes that we've made to this tool. And that's why I believe this tool is super powerful. So now I can see that if I'm running a jewelry store, this is definitely something that I can try to emulate, right? It's something that can potentially generate me thousands of dollars a month by creating these type of subscription services. So let's move on to the latest product section here. And as you can see, they are still adding products. They're adding more bracelets as recent as yesterday. So this is not some store that you know added a few products a few years ago and stopped adding products. And now they're just kind of focusing on subscriptions. They are still adding products. And for all you know, some of these products can become winners for them, right? Perhaps they will add them to a subscription service later on, or perhaps they'll just become single sale winners for them. And of course, like a lot of pages on Sell the Trend, you're going to be able to click this Add to Store button right here and directly add this product straight into your store and start selling it yourself. And by clicking on this Add to Store, you can generate SEO product descriptions using AI, and you can really streamline your entire operation and save yourself a lot of time. So this is another great way to find these winning products through the store intelligence and then shoot them straight to your store. And finally, here at the bottom, we have the store app section. So again, this is a great way to see what are the store apps that some of these stores are using that is helping them achieve a high monthly revenue. 
What are the store apps that this store feels are important to add to their store that is helping them grow their business? So we have email marketing. Obviously, it makes sense. They're using some email marketing here. Uh, they have this Push Owl app. Actually, I'm not really familiar with this app. Let's see what this app does. Increase sale with targeted push abandoned cart. Okay, so this is a push notification type of app to send direct messages to their customers. Definitely will get you higher engagement than just email. So maybe they're using this a lot more than email. Maybe that's why email is not bringing them a lot of traffic. They're using something like this instead. So here we have an affiliate marketing app installed as well. Again, a great source of bringing in additional revenue, creating basically an army of people that are gonna try to sell products for you for a cut of the revenue. Another awesome way to generate more revenue for your store. Obviously, we also recommend product reviews. They really should be using Sellatrend's Viva Review app. They really messed up on this one, but I won't hold it against them. And they're using some loyalty reward apps. Again, this app section is a great way to see a store that is making good monthly revenue and see what might be helping them achieve that, right? So adding a loyalty or a reward app is a great way to retain your existing customers and offer them rewards for when they buy more stuff from you. Another great way to increase your revenue right there. Again, upsell apps. There's tons of upsell apps. Sell the Trend Shops has an upsell app. Obviously, we recommend upsell apps as well. So if you're not on Shopify, you're on Sell the Trend Shops and using Sell the Trend to run your entire store, we have a great upsell app included with Sell the Trend. We value upsell apps. Again, you need every single method that you can utilize to increase your average order value to make more money from every single visitor, right? The name of the game is average order value. Anything you can do to increase that average order value, you really need to be doing it. It can be the difference between a successful store and a store that does not make you enough money, right? Okay, and right here is the recharge subscriptions. I bet you anything, this is the subscription app that they are using to do those subscription type of products that we saw uh, a bit earlier. Right there, absolutely, yes, recharge subscriptions. So this is exactly what they're using to do these subscriptions. So again, if you want to do these subscriptions, you can use an app like this to basically create subscriptions exactly like the store is doing. And they also have a wishlist app and some other apps as well. So as you can see here, store intelligence has really become an indispensable tool in your Sell the Trend toolbox and a way not only to discover how dropshipping stores, just like yours, are making huge revenue, but not only that, but also to really pull back the curtain a little bit and see their secret sauce and find out exactly how they're generating these revenues. Maybe look at some ideas that they're using, maybe add those exact same products to your store, maybe use similar apps as they are that is helping them achieve these great results. So now you get a sense of what is required to generate, you know, $187,000 a month in revenue. You really need to be taking advantage of all the promotional tools at your disposal. Whether it's email marketing, whether it's upsell apps, whether it's social media marketing with TikTok. And by the way, we have a great TikTok course, so you can check that out as well if you want to learn how to make viral TikTok ads. You also need to work on your organic traffic. So in our dropshipping courses, we talk about how to customize your product descriptions, how to use our AI brand builder to create SEO product descriptions so you can extend your organic reach, and as well as paid ads, right? Like this shop right here is running paid ads, as we saw. And you can, of course, check those ads out and get some ideas for your store. Bottom line, you really need to be using all the different marketing tools available for you. And a really easy way to see that is to look at the store intelligence. So this is going to wrap up this deep dive into the store intelligence tool. I hope you are as excited as we are about the incredible potential is going to bring to your drop shipping game. Remember, success in e-commerce really often boils down to making informed decisions, staying ahead in the competition, and offering the best products to your customers. And I hope that the store intelligence will be your secret weapon to achieve your success online.